Looks like a pack of prolific Victorians are heading your way. Better prepare yourself. Welcome back to the Hopeless Hobby Addict. Today we're going to do episode 5. We're going to paint the Praetorian from the Deep Rock Galactic board game. Based on the scout feedback, I'm trying a new camera angle on this one, so hopefully it's more straight up and down when I paint it. Let me know if this works for you. I spent a bit of time experimenting with various green inks, trying to get the glowiest for lack of a better word, uh, for that rear end of this guy. It's a very neon, glowy green in-game. Uh, it could be blue as well for the icy zones, but we're sticking to the, the standard art here. I ultimately landed on a fluorescent green from Dollar Rowney. I uh, got that at Michael's locally, and it came out pretty good. I printed up two copies of the Praetorian, You'll see one gets a bit beat up. We'll call him Steve. The exoskeleton I tried first with just orc skin. And you see it came out pretty bright green there. And I wanted it darker, so we're going to go back and do a 4 to 2 mix of the orc skin to the absolution green.
So for the rear end, we're going with the fluorescent green. Like I mentioned, the Dallow Rowney I got from the local Michaels. Watch out when you squeeze these the first time. I guess this had clogged up a bit or dried up in there. Had a little explosion on the work deck. Um, beyond that, I basically did about two drops of this. And then we're trying out some glaze medium from uh, Vallejo. Reality, you could probably just use some, you know, matte medium water mix 50-50. Um, Lamian medium if you got some GW stuff. And there's, there's any number of things. I was going for a glaze, a thin translucent effect. So we didn't make it too green. The ink's consistency with that glaze medium was great. It got down into those cracks just like speed paint. So it left the top of those domes real, uh, just a translucent green on there like I wanted and put some actual color down there in the grooves. There's a quick comparison of the first attempt I did with a more normal green that came out almost a yellowy glow. I did take one dab of that and added it into the fluorescent when I went back to hit the tops of those domes just to give it a little more of that yellowish green look that you kind of see in the picture. I chose Slaughter Red for the back of the throat, though in hindsight you could probably just do like a dab of, um, you know, Gravelord or Grim Black, or just some Dark Shade. So I experimented on this poor abused Steve model with a few different colors for the legs. You can see the sand golem there which was a pretty cool, almost brown contrast. The pallet bone looked okay. Malignant green, I felt looked closest to the screenshot from the game. The far back left, or I'm sorry, the far back right one in the picture there was an olive ink Dalla Rowney again from Michaels. You can also get on Amazon. I almost went with that, but I'm trying to be consistent, like I said, and use actual army painter speed paint colors so I chose malignant green for the purpose of this video
I chose pallid bone for the underbelly, the teeth, tusks, and the top of the jawbone as well. I tried not to get it down on the gum line too much though because I come back with crusader flesh. So Crusader flesh for inside the mouth, along the base of the teeth, the gum lines basically. And I tried to blend it in a little bit with the slaughter red in the back, but that didn't work so well. I chose sand golem for the little claw tips on the legs.
I decided to coat the rock with Gravelord Grey. Then we follow up with a quick dry brush with whatever matte white you got kicking around. Finishing up the base, three drops of black ink to one drop of matte medium. You choose your brands. Departing in T minus two minutes. So as usual, those close up photos at the end, I always point out your little miss spots or it's my old eyes. Uh, all the tips, basically those real sharp points on the teeth, you can see there had some black dots. I didn't get enough paint on there, I guess, to uh, have speed paint stick. So we sent the Praetorian to the dentist and I kind of did a little white, very watered down white glaze. And I think it came out pretty cool. Kind of a, a bone tooth look. I like the tartar build up there on right above the gum line. You know, it's, uh, gives it a good grimy tooth look, I think. So happy little mistakes, I guess you could say. So that wraps up the Praetorian. I'm pretty happy how this guy came out. The green could probably go a little darker. I haven't decided. I'll probably uh, play with some more colors a little more before I paint the actual inbox piece. The episode six is going to be the oppressor. He's fairly similar to the Praetorian, but with a few color tweaks in there. As always, appreciate you guys stopping by. Hope these are helpful. Like and subscribe if you would, please. And I'll see you for your next one.